seguridad permanezca sentado con sus manos y brazos y en sus piernas dentro del barco. Cuida los pequeños. A manera de recordatorio, no toma foto o flash y luz de video antes de llegar a la línea de video.
reduce the need for chemical pesticides by breeding and using natural predators, like ladybugs and wasps, to control pests. In the farmlands across America, we're learning that by plowing under vegetation containing natural fertilizers, we can enrich the soil without the use of chemicals. In arid regions, we're learning to produce food on different How well we need tomorrow's growing needs for food production, yet still respect the needs of the land. Some of the answers are being discovered just ahead. To help us maintain these carefully controlled ecosystems, and for your safety, please remain seated in your boat at all times. Welcome to our glimmering greenhouses, where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture illuminate the wondrous gifts we receive from the land. Join us as we ring in the most bountiful time of the year. For some, it's difficult to imagine the holidays without winter and snow, but one of the most important holiday crops actually grows in the tropics. For centuries, farmers in Central America have cultivated cacao to make chocolate. In fact, cacao is chocolate's main ingredient. Today, people around the world are able to enjoy a variety of sweets and keep warm with a cup of hot cocoa, thanks to this tropical plant. Citrus, like the oranges grown here, are common in Florida, but in Northern Europe, where fresh fruit is rare in winter, they're much harder to find, making them an extra special stocking stuffer. During Chinese New Year, these vibrant fruits are given as gifts of good fortune.
They say it's better to give than to receive. And in this greenhouse, we're celebrating the holidays by giving back to the land using innovative farming techniques. By recycling water, we can give plants rich nutrients. By giving plants ladybugs, we're able to control pests and reduce the need for pesticides. And by growing ground plants vertically, we give them better protection from disease. With these gifts, our plants can grow an abundance of best in vegetables. This greenhouse alone grows a powerful 15 tons of produce each year. When we give more, we receive making the most of the land's green gifts. Many of the plants you see here help spice up the holiday. The bark of cinnamon trees, like the one going beside you, is used to make cinnamon sticks. Do you like eggnog? You can thank nutmeg for its signature taste. Other spices, like ginger and vanilla, add flavor to a variety of holiday cookies, cakes, and other delights. By cultivating these festive plants with care and good cheer, Epcot scientists are able to celebrate the holidays with the land's many gifts and only then will we truly be living with the land. On behalf of Walt Disney World, we hope you've enjoyed this unique journey through our living laboratories. If you like a closer look, then check out the Behind the Scenes Walking Tour. It's a chance for the whole family to get up close and personal with the plants and growing techniques in our laboratories. Please keep your hands and feet inside the boat and remain seated until the boat These greenhouses represent just a fraction of the work being done worldwide to produce bountiful harvests for our growing population. Scientists, farmers, and even backyard gardeners are doing their part to improve the quantity and quality of foods that we all rely upon. Together, we can continue to find more ways to increase food production and protect our precious natural environment. Only then will we truly be living with the land.